In this video, we're going to look at the radio button helper and the checkbox helper. The first one we're going to look at is the radio button. And here again, I'm looking at the api.rubyonrails.com. And I've looked up radio button. And it's a helper that returns a radio button tag accessing a particular object, particular attribute in that object. And you set a value on that radio button, so it's a little bit different that way. And you could have an option of like, checked which means that this would be the selected radio button so let's go ahead into our movie critic code and let's add again I've made some changes to the database so that we can play around with these two attributes a little bit and what I've done is I've added a ratings field it's just a var car 20 and I've added a recommended field which is a var car 3 so let's go ahead and close this so the first thing we're going to look at is the radio buttons and what I want to do there is allow our critic to select a I gotta get my code right here I uh, can't forget the proper little guys to open this up and close it down otherwise it's not gonna work alright now we're happy so our object is still comment but our new thing that we're going to be looking at, our new attribute is rating, and we give it a value. Now if we go back to our API, it looks like in the example you just give it one value. So in this case, for every radio button, you have to have a call, and there's two radio buttons for Rails and then for Java. So what we'll do is go back here, and we'll say this one, and we'll start with the positive first, and say great, and then we got to give it some text that's going to show up after our button, so we'll just say great. And then I'm going to copy and paste this a few times. And we'll say good. Change that to good. And fair. Fair. Finally, poor. All right. Now, let's go over and take a look at our application. And so there you go. Our application is set up. We can make a selection here. This was funny. So it's a comedy. It was great. So let's create our comment. We'll go back. Now let's jump into our database. Take a look at the comments. And we go over to ratings. And now we have great in our ratings. Now you could do a number of things here. I could foresee that you could actually put little stars in here so you could select stars. Or you could even go back to your list view here and based on what that rating was, you could change it to a number even. You could have the number of stars print out. So it could be an interesting little thing that you can do. And we'll probably do that in a later video. The other thing that we wanted to look at here was checkboxes. So we're in the same API. It's the form helper API. So let's find checkbox. It's right here. So our call is checkbox. We have an object name, method, and then we have options that go along with that. So in our case here, we probably want to say something along the lines of, I don't know that I do, I probably use a radio button to do this, but let's do it so that we can use our checkbox. And so we're going to say checkbox, comment, and now the attribute that I selected for this was recommended. Let's jump into our database and you can see that it's recommended. Let's see if I can spell it right. As long as it's spelled the same, that's the important part. Now let's look at our API real quick here. This isn't a thing I use a whole lot, but it looks pretty straightforward. We have a method name or an object name and then the attribute for that and any options or anything. We can have a check value, unchecked value. So then we got to get some text in here to complete this. So let's jump over to our app and load it up and see what we got. There we go. We got a little checkbox now, whether it's recommended or not. And if we say recommended and it was great, and let's say it was a war movie, it was real. And let's create that. And now let's jump over to our database since we don't have anything in our view at the moment. So here is our end last entry and since we checked it, it has a value of 1. And we could go in there and set the value uh, to other things if we want. So that's 
how you use radio buttons and check boxes in Ruby on Rails.